day search trip to the Holy Land, we've seen many special sites rich with history, like Masada, where we're standing today. Masada is a backdrop for some of the most dramatic scenes in Jewish history, built by King Herod the Great and located on the eastern edge of the Judean desert. King Herod the Great built Masada in fear of a Jewish uprising. However, that never actually happened, and shortly after his death, it was occupied by a Roman garrison. After the fall of the Second Temple in Jerusalem, Jewish zealots fled here and took up this place as their home. The Roman army encamped around this fortress, trying to starve out the Jewish zealots that were living on top of here. But because of their amazing well system here and the food storage, they could stay up here for five years. The Roman army had Jewish slaves and they used those people strategically to build a ramp to the top of Masada, which took about two to three months. The Jewish leader here, Eleazar, gathered all the men of each family in the synagogue. And he said, I rather die a free man than live in slavery at the hands of the Romans. Brave and loyal followers, long ago, we resolved to serve neither the Romans nor anyone other than God himself, who alone is the true and just Lord of mankind. Come, while our hands are free and can hold a sword, let them do a noble service. Let us die unenslaved by our enemies and leave this world as free men in company with our wives and children. So what they decided to do is kill themselves. And so each man was responsible for killing another man's family and then they killed themselves. The only reason this story can be told today is because two women and five children hid because they didn't want to die. And they're the ones that lived on to tell the story of Masada. Both tragic and heroic, Masada will be a story that will never be forgotten. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at one of our stops in Israel. Be sure to keep watching Daystar for more on-location specials from the Holy Land. Until next time, Shalom from Israel.